welcome to this very very special video five more actually more than 500 people have subscribed to this channel so first of all thank you very much to celebrate i have prepared this video where i will show you a trick how to make r as fast as the c programming language so r has this reputation of being slow because you know it's an interpreted language and uh, if you write your code it's going to take a long time to execute but there is a way to make it run much faster so this is like not a secret trick or anything like that but it's not talked very much because it can literally brick your pc so whatever operating system you're using windows mac linux doesn't matter this is a trick if you use it wrongly it can break your PC. So it's something that has not, you know, been discussed very much. Also because now, you know, you have all these under the hood routines that uh, are themselves programmed in C or in Fortran and that run very well. But if you want to write your own routines, then you would like to have something quite fast. But if you only know R, then you're kind of stuck. With this trick, you can use R, but have code run as fast as C. And this is actually simple i mean it's dangerous but simple if you follow these steps i can show you how you can use that without risking breaking your pc but be careful you can break your pc it is a bit of a of a curse trick so the first thing you need of course is to load the tidyverse and then you only need to copy the following lines so we'll go through them uh, step by step don't worry the next thing you need is some garlic and a tool to crush it. If you don't have garlic, you could also get some garlic paste. I'm going to use the real deal. Dried tomatoes in oil. Uh, the oil is important because we're going to use that to cook in our frying pan. If you don't have uh, dried tomatoes, you can also get canned tomatoes. I use the scissors to cut them into pieces, the dried tomatoes into pieces. And then of course you need some cod or any type of fish that you like. But of course I like cod. So what's really important with this recipe is that you need to start with the onions. We're going to cut them into little pieces. Let them fry slowly, let them cook slowly in the oil of the dried tomatoes. All right? uh, while the um, onions are cooking. Just cut the dried tomatoes into pieces, get some other ingredients that you like, spices or herbs that you enjoy. You can really put in anything you, you, you like. I like simple stuff, salt, pepper. I like my food uh, uh, very spicy, so I will use some Italian pepperoncini. So it's these little flakes here, very spicy, very nice. I'm, I'm going to use that, but that's optional. Uh, and of course, the fish. The fish is important, but if you don't have any fish on hand, you can replace that with uh, anything you like, chicken, or one time I even just uh, replaced it with potatoes. So it's a very simple recipe, it doesn't take a lot of time to cook, and you just need one frying pan. So while the onions are cooking, I will focus now my attention on the garlic. I will cut the garlic and I will use the crusher to, to crush it. By the way, I use 250 grams of cod. You could, of course, use a bit more if you're really hungry. And one very ingre important ingredient I forgot, focus, it's not focusing, the leaves. Black olives that are all, I'm also going to uh, cut using the scissors. So after, after two minutes or so, really not, not very long after you started cooking the onion, you start seeing it getting a little bit uh, translucid. This is when you might want to add the cod. So my cod is frozen, so that's why I add it quite soon after I start cooking. But if you have fresh fish, you might not need to add it so soon. You might wait a little bit, but um, it, also, it really depends on what type of fish or, or meat you use for this. So now it's uh, going quite well. I'm done cutting my uh, olives and dried tomatoes and I also crushed the garlic. It's below every ingredient here. So I'm going to add that to... So here you see you get the garlic. I'm going to add that to the frying pan. And I'm also going to add the spices. 
just add as, as much as you like, same for the tomatoes and for your leaves, just add what you want. You might also want here at this stage to add a little bit of, um, I don't know how you call that in English, but um, um, concentrated tomato, so it's this little very, it's this tomato paste that you could add at this stage as well. Then you just need to cover it and let it cook for 10 to 15 more minutes. So I put the heat a little bit above medium now. I added my spices, I add the olives, dried tomatoes um, and the garlic. Now I will add a little bit of this tomato paste. And here again, just add as much as you like it. And I will now just cover it with this. I will mix everything a little bit again, cover it and let it sit for yeah, 10 more minutes. Now of course you could uh, also boil some potatoes, cook some rice to uh, accompany this meal. I like to eat just that, um, I think it's quite enough, but if you're really hungry this is great with some uh, boiled potatoes and then you just add a little bit of olive oil. My cats are fighting. You just add a little bit of olive oil um, and it's going to be amazing. So it's been uh, cooking for 3-4 uh, minutes now. And oh the smell, if you could smell it, it smells so great. So it's been cooking on um, medium high. So my uh, thing here goes until 9, so this is 7, yeah medium high let's say. Um, it's starting to get a nice reddish color. Um, this is also at this stage you could also taste a little bit and see if the spices are good, or if you need to add more or add uh, anything else. Now of course don't let it burn, so get your wooden spoon and mix it from time to time. Now it's been going for a bit less than 10 minutes, actually I think it's it's ready now, I don't think I need to um, wait much more. Um, just be careful, you know, fish have grates, it doesn't focus. This is my wife's camera and I'm, I don't know how to use it. Anyway, grates, not good. Um, if while you're mixing, if you notice some, of course, get them out. Uh, if, you're re if you replace the, the fish with chicken, then you won't have that problem, that's free protein. So I think I'm, I'm done here. I'm just going to let it uh, rest for like two or three minutes while I get some uh, red wine. I have to be a bit down for you to see me. Um, this looks amazing and is very, very good, very tasty. Mm. So, thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, for the support. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make R run as fast as C. Um, really thank you a lot for all the support, all the comments and the people who subscribe to the channel, the people also who follow me on Twitter and have been uh, retweeting my blog posts and discussing them with me. Uh, it's been a, a really nice experience. I learned a lot by also sharing my knowledge and, um, and getting your feedback. So thank you once again and um, if you try this recipe, let me know how it went. Cheers!